Dealing with an Alzheimer's diagnosis is tough, and knowing what to do next can be just as difficult. It's Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and in today's Your Healthy Family, I'm talking to an in-home care agency about when it's time for you to consider outside care for a loved one with dementia. Caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia is extremely difficult, and if you're the primary caregiver, it can be even more tough. Oftentimes, if we see our loved one all the time, we can either ignore or not fully recognize or have a little bit of denial of the situation and what it really is. It's why Susan Nimnuin, the vice president of Bright Star Care in Fort Myers and Naples, says it's important to bring in an outside perspective. Bringing a professional in who's been through training, who has experience to notice, that's a little more serious. That's something we need to put a focus on can really be helpful to everybody. So when is it time to consider other care options? It's never too early to start educating yourself and your loved ones on the options that are out there when it comes to senior care or aging in place. However, uh, many of us wait to the last minute. I get phone calls all the time and it's, my loved one's been having falls for a while or my loved one had a series of mini strokes and now they're looking at care. And really, the sooner you get someone involved, even if it's just a little bit, can be so much. What are tangible things that I can pick up on that make me realize, okay, the situation with my loved one at home is a bit more than I can handle and it's time to get the gears in motion to get them help? Absolutely. Starting to look around in the home when you're there, you know, are they on medication and that's disorganized? Is there expired food in the refrigerator? Is the mail starting to pile up? Does the home look more cluttered or disheveled than it normally does? Those would be great indicators to start with. And when checking their medicine box, she says make sure they're actually remembering to take their medications. Also looking at your loved one, are they tending to isolate more or are they still as social as they once were? Those are good indicators that something has changed. Nimnuin also tells me poor or unsafe judgment can be another sign. What are examples of what that can look like as a sign? Are they forgetting to pay their bills? You know, are they forgetting to bathe or they're not bathing as frequently as they once used to? Are they going out and they're unable to return home safely? Are they getting lost or confused? Very important to pick up on those things. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg. And coming up in tomorrow's Your Healthy Family, the questions you need to ask when considering outside care for your loved one with dementia.